Okay guys, what's up? Welcome back to Deus Ex part 39. And um, we're here in the Tai Young Medical part. Anyway, um, in here you see a bunch of electricity. Now, if you have this perk right here, EMP shielding, you can just run right through all this. It's no problem for you. But, if you don't, um, <laughs> you could do the annoying task of taking these three boxes here and uh, <laughs> watch out for this line of water right here, stack them and try and make your way over to that box or just uh, take this one and vice versa. Yeah. Me personally, I don't have the patience for that. Uh, you, sh you, I think what you're supposed to, ooh, give me the concussion grenade. What you're supposed to do is use that crate there that I just threw. You want to pick it up off of here, put it there, jump, jump. Unless you got the leg augmentation like I do, and you can jump around like you just don't care. And uh, you can, you want to take that box out, put it here. I don't need to do that. <laughs> Leak frogging up in this bitch. I don't. <laughs> I pretty much don't need crates at all anymore. Oh come on! There we go, Adam. Yep. And some of you are like, why, why are you skipping all that stuff in the beginning? I'll tell you why, because I'm going to be there in a second anyway. So we're up here at the top. You just want to take this. And once again, if you don't have the leg augmentation, just stack this box right here, like so. And then pick up this crate and bring it over. And that's how you do that. I don't want any of that stuff. But I have the leg aug. Unfortunately, you need a box here to get into this thing. It's really annoying otherwise. And take a ride. And another Trailblazer bonus. And this guy. Um, yeah, this guy. Uh, if you search his body, you find a pocket secretary. Ooh, an access. Yeah, you want that access card as well, actually. Um, I'll show you how to get it even if you don't want to. There's a rifle here. Oh, oh. You don't share. Okay, so we don't need this machine pistol. That can go. I want that upgrade. It's going right on my six shooter, seven shooter. Uh, I don't know how many bullets are in this revolver, <laughs> or how much many bullets it can take. Anyway, that's that. I'm in here. Uh, come on, Adam. You can do it. What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> anyway, drop down here, and we get another bonus. It's a traveler this time pick yourself up some credits if you open this vent right here this is where the video started you get a cyber boost we got a peps gun right here we got an energy pack to go with it and that's that cool huh and if you just go through here this is where we were a second ago so let's just get right back up to the top. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Now, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get the ghost bonus just because uh, either I messed it up or you can't get it here because, or you can't get it the way I did it because I interacted with some of the people. But anyway, here you go. Some kind of surveillance recording. Van Bruggen said he stashed it on a server somewhere. He must have meant the data core room. Very high security. It'll be a couple of floors up from where the elevator lets you off. But the first corridors you'll pass through will be public. So you might want to keep any weapons concealed. Copy that. Cool. And we got smooth operator bonus and getting things done. Cool. So here we are, and hold up, I believe there's something I missed. Voila, daylight, bitches, for the first time. <laughs> yeah, a little bit too enthusiastic there. Anyway, this is the upper city. Looks awesome. These are all the people. This is unacceptable. I need to get into Legion immediately. So. 
Oh, uh, wow, look at that. That's amazing. I imagine there's actually something like that in the future. So, we're trying to pry this candy bar loose, right? Right. And I give it a good tug, and suddenly the vending machine starts tipping. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Luckily, they're lighter than most vending machines. I honestly thought it was the end for a second. Death by a vending machine. <laughs> How point is the tragic? They messed up here, and when I talk to these guys, this guy has his voice, and his voice is on this guy. See? Are you part of the new project? I thought they were just refining the chips. Great looking gear. Not exactly run of the mill, is it? No, not really. And you? Did you hear that about the vending machine? Every day it's a different story with that guy. You... You guys fucked up. <laughs> you said that, not him. Anyway, um, in case... You did not get that access card from that guy. I'm going to show you guys how to get it here right now. Um, there's a lot of cool story stuff if you go through these offices and stuff. I'm not going to do it, and the credits just simply aren't worth it, in my opinion. You can go through and explore. You might have to knock a couple of people out. It's really... If you've made it this far in the game, I'm sure you can figure it out all on your own. There's a couple of things to loot in here. I'm not that interested in tranquilizer darts or machine pistol ammo or commandeering any of the robots. I'm just going to grab the access card, so now I have two of them. Open this up. Nothing really. So this, you can you can open that door, but this guy over here will make his way over and be like, you're not allowed to be in there. I usually just knock him out and drag him in there. Uh, is, is there a scholar book in here? I believe there's an e-book or something. Either way. Uh, you'd have to hack your way through that door. I don't want to do it. Hey, how's it going? You part of the new project? Nope. <laughs> I'm part of the dismantling of this place. So yeah, there's a can't let you in. Access to the lab is strictly forbidden without a league game access pass. I got no two. Here it is. Seems in order. Sorry about giving you a hard time, but apparently there's some pretty heavy stuff going on in there. No apology necessary. You're doing a good job, soldier. <laughs> yeah. I would not be letting a dude like me in there. <laughs> access card or not, I look like I'm ready to kill. Anyway, you want to come in here and grab that scholar book? Heck yeah. And uh, if... Um, there's a lot of cool uh, story stuff. Uh, the password that we just got is for this computer over here. Oh, I don't, don't want to hack it. Don't want to hack it. Thank you. And let's just type it in. There's nothing on this computer other than... Uh, some cool story stuff. Pretty much, in a nutshell, what they're trying to do is replicate the typhoon, but they're having problems with like the back blast and everything. And uh, that's what those two people out there were talking about. Like, why are we trying to make a chip that was made from a different company that we didn't design ourselves and stuff? So yeah, even if you don't have those access cards, you could just sneak your way all the way through these offices and do anything you want, really. This was the room we were in before is the hallway from over yonder loads of stuff uh... what's in here drank darts don't want them yeah there's a lot of lot of stun stuff stun stuff jesus there's a lot of tranquilizer what the heck so i'm <laughs> looking at my laptop a lot of tranquilizing stuff in here this isn't working anything um... if you go in that room those two will be like hey get out of here because um... the uh... it's like the security room I don't know where the computer is for that. It's called Ghost. It's someone's computer. Ja, Ja, Jolly, J Lee. I don't know. Anyway, most of these computers are uh, accessible right off the bat. Anyway, oh, I nearly forgot something. So, right in here is uh, not that. Oh, anything in this drawer? What do you got? credits yeah why not um we got some painkillers yummy yummy you know we got a feed Adam's addiction here uh, we got two bottles of whiskey uh, what medical lab doesn't have them and crossbow boats that makes sense pack of granola bars as well okay so there's that yep this level's pretty easy what's up make sure to keep that pass on you at all times you got it sir I will do nothing but the I'll have nothing but the utmost discretion. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, so we just want to make our way up here. Yeah, this patch just makes it easy. You could stealth your way through here, but uh, 
at this point in the game, I don't really think you have much to prove in terms of uh, uh, adequately cutting down these uh, these uh, these guys. It's really pretty easy. I, uh, my first playthrough through here, I just uh, I knocked everybody out. I was like, access pass. I don't need that shit. <laughs> okay, here we are. And this guy's gonna tell us this. Where do you think you're going? The data core room is for authorized personnel only. You're not gonna get in there. I was looking for the cafeteria. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Good excuse, Adam. Um. So, gonna be a bit honest with you guys. I'm not sure how uh someone would normally handle this but uh I'm gonna stealth my way through these through these guys like it's nothing we got this pocket secretary really blah 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 login and password update uh, okay what's on this computer ba -ba -ba. I don't know what that dude's saying too lazy to read subtitles anyway we gotta make our way into the data core room somehow, right? So, uh... Hmm... Hmm... Anyone watching? No? I'm gonna hack our way into this. If you get here before the guy walks away, you can actually... It only activates once one of the guys uh, steps away from the laser system. Nuke it. Access granted. There we go. This guy didn't see a thing, man. Yeah, uh, like when you first come here, this guy will be standing here for some reason. For some reason, like uh, he wasn't standing in front of it when I um when I first came through here, or he w or the lasers that he was standing in front of weren't active, and I ran through just in time to shut them down. Anyway, I'm gonna take him down. Knock knock. <laughs> Down he goes. I don't need his stinking machine pistol. And this part. Oh, this part. I want to be careful here. There's a big old dude with a big old gun. Down there. And. He's going to get some of that. Now. As soon as this other guy makes his rounds, well, before he does, I want to drag this guy out of out of the way of all visibility. Huh? I've actually never been back here before. Let's do a let's do a little look around, shall we? Huh? I haven't I've never done this one. Where, where are we? Oh, oh, did we just take the easy way around? Imagine that. Wow, alright. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I hate to have to redo this. this guy gonna go okay I'm gonna leave that dude at the computer just typing away and I'm not gonna leave you right here for him to find Uh, what's the pocket secretary say? It says... Nothing. Helpful. 
I know which one I do want though. And I know that I want to eat one of these so I can do this. And why do we want to do that? Because the guy in the hallway who's making his rounds that we left out of the party for now has the code to the data store room. And we don't have to go through that camera. Or that part with the camera, I should say. Okay. Nothing. Right? I mean, there should be a guy around here making his rounds. Yeah, he's down there. He's down. Yep, this is the guy we want to take. There we go. 0703. 0703. Hey, hey. Okay, so we're here in the lab. Uh, right there was where the camera would have spotted me, but we made our way through. And I think this is a good place to call it, so uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Let me know you appreciate this and that you like the walkthrough. Uh, thanks for watching. And in the next part, oh, in the next part, we got ourselves some Mission Impossible type laser grids. <laughs> it's going to be hell of, hell of a lot of fun, so uh, tune next time to see how I mess this one up. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.